In this short video, we're going to take a look at how to create a piling schedule from our updated Excitec toolkit. On the Revit ribbons, you'll notice here we have Excitec toolkit. So our old toolkit was on the add-ins ribbon. The new toolkit has a dedicated ribbon with many more productivity tools available. Our first task is to go ahead and select all of the piles that we'd like to schedule. To do this, select the filter command from the Excitec toolkit ribbon. Here we can open up the category structural foundations and here we can select our piling. So all the piles are now selected. Let's go ahead and select the Excitec toolkit ribbon again. And to add the coordinates into each of these piles, we can simply go to the analyze pull down menu and go ahead here and select insertion. We have three choices. We can use the internal origin point of Revit the project base point or the survey point. In this case, because I have a shared coordinate system set up, I'm going to go ahead and use survey point. The coordinates are now added into all of the piles. If we use tab to select one of the piles, you can now see that we have the X, Y and Z coordinate and also the X top coordinate, Y top coordinate and Z top coordinate. This will be useful when you want to derive the cutoff level of the pile or if you're trying to schedule raking piles. Next, we go ahead and number all of our piles. To do this, I'm going to change my layout to the piling layout. And once again on the Excitec toolkit, I'm going to select the renumber pull down menu. And here we'll select renumber mark parameter. So you can see here that I'm prefixing these with P hyphen. We're using the double digits here, but of course I could use a treble digit if I wanted to. I'm going to start from P1, and then I'm going to increment it at one unit. If the piles already have a mark, I can force an overwrite. So let's go ahead and select mark. And I can now go through and use the tab key to select each of the piles. OK, so all the piles are now marked. I simply press escape here and then I can click close. And now if I tab select one of these piles, you can see that we have an associated mark. Next, we'll go ahead and tag all of our piles. So once again, I'm going to select the piles that I'd like to tag. So there they are in a selection set. We'll go back to our Excitec toolkit. And here we can select the QAQC and then select QA model review pull down. Here we can say create tag. So here you can see I've pre configured a style for piling. You can obviously save and set up all of these styles. So here we're going to use the structural foundations category. The tag orientation is horizontal. This is the tag family I'm going to use. I'm not going to have a leader, but you can see here that I'm going to set the tags to offset 500 millimeters up to Y axis. I can then go ahead and create the tags. OK, and there are our tags placed out. Finally, we'll create a piling schedule. To do this, we can select the view ribbon. We can select the schedules pull down and then select schedules quantities. Here we can choose structural foundations. And we can name this piling schedule and click OK. So I'm going to begin with the mark. Then we might want the type of family that we've used. And then we can go ahead and select the easting, the northing. And here what I want is the cutoff level. So I'm going to use the Z top coordinate. OK, if I go to sorting and grouping tab here, I'm going to sort by the mark. And also I want to filter elements that haven't got a mark. So I'll go to the filter tab here and we'll say mark begins with P. If you go ahead and select OK, you can now see that we have our pile schedule.